The Circle was always going to be a movie. Uh, I wrote the script and did all the design work and everything as if it was going to be a movie. This was going to be my first feature film. So when I look back on it and I see all of the art through the years that has been done for these pitch meetings and so forth, it's like, okay, I have to do something with this. But I didn't want to make a traditional comic book or graphic novel. I wanted to do something different. And when I looked at what I had, all the maquettes that I had done, all the models that I made, the storyboards, all of that combined with how entrenched I'd become into the one sixth scale world, something clicked that was just like, I'm going to build miniature sets, six scale sets and make six scale action figures of all these characters and take photographs and shoot it like a movie. Your basic movie script is three acts. So I broke the graphic novel down into three acts. Act one is going to be traditionally drawn comic book style art. The second act is going to be all the six scale stuff. Um, it's going to be action figures and miniature sets photographed like a movie. So that gave me the opportunity to look at this thing in a completely different way, to break the thing down and actually concentrate on the smallest of details. Um, that, that's been a ride in and of itself is the second act. And the third act is, uh, is, is the storyboards. So you'll have the script as you're reading the script, you'll have the storyboards right there that show the story to you, uh, illustratively, you know, just graphic wise, like you'll, you'll see what's going on. So in this book, it's one book, big, thick graphic novel, coffee table type book. I'm doing a hardbound version only. And you're gonna have three different styles telling the story. You're gonna have the traditionally drawn artwork. You're gonna have the action figures, the six scale action figures. And you're gonna have storyboards. And that'll all be intermittently placed within the script. So you'll have the entire book done that way. The circle centers around our main character is Cade, and Cade uh, is a military guy. He's fought in what we call the Earth Wars, and after the Earth Wars and the planets broke up into different federations, um, he found himself on this planet Thycos in debt to this guy right here. Who, uh, that's Logros, that's our main, uh, that's our villain. This is the guy that oversees the gladiatorial games, uh, our emperor, so to speak. So Cade gets into debt to this guy, uh, and he works it out in a very interesting way. Logros basically gives him a ship, gives him all the weapons, gives him all the gear, and says, you're going to be the guy that's going to go throughout the galaxy and capture all of these aliens, all of these different creatures from all these different worlds to fight in the arena. Until the one day comes where Cade, through circumstances beyond his control, gets thrown into the arena, and that's where the story unfolds. So. We eventually get to see that there is um, the native race, the Vikings of this planet. There is a sect of them called the Shingdra, who are the warrior uh, sect of, of the culture. And Cade, believe it or not, is the catalyst for their revolution and how they plan to take their planet back from this uh, sluggy, slug boy over here. Um, so uh, that's where uh, Satana comes in, who is our alien princess. 
She is a uh, Shingdra warrior, and uh, her and Cade have uh, have a very interesting relationship that develops over the course of the story. And of course, I don't want to give away too much. But um, that's basically what happens. I mean, I, you know, without giving away the whole thing. It's uh, it's a uh, it's an alien gladiator story. So you've got all the elements of you know all the movies I grew up with in there: Conan, Star Wars, uh, Raiders. Uh, there's a lot of Star Trek overtones in there. All the stuff that I was, of course, inspired by. And it's just it's a good old-fashioned science fiction action story. We're experiencing a little bit of a shift in 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 not only how the characters are, are developed but how they're presented um, and I wanted to do something that was a little bit more old-school in that respect but presented in a new way do something that we haven't seen before and it harkens back to why I think we all got into comics in the first place we all just wanted to be whisked away somewhere else, you know, to some foreign world where there were, uh, you know, creatures and, and, and you know, monsters and, and uh, you know, just stuff out of like the Frank Frazetta paintings, you know, the giant cats chained up to the pillars with, you know, alien life forms and stuff like that. And, and, and it, it just all, it, it has sort of like a heavy metal vibe to it. I cannot wait to unleash this onto the world. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in, and um, we'll see you soon.